Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube video. My name is Ophelia Rebecca Elsa Nunez Ali and if you're new here, welcome to my team of subscribers. I feel like I should have done that video. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this video, but this is literally my first intro with this hair. And I'm slowly but surely starting to feel confident. And then as you know when I had my first big child, which was 20 sorry about that, which was 2020, I had short hair. And although I really doubted how I'd look, but when I got the short hair, I was like, dang, Shorty, you look so cute. Like, I literally look so cute. And I think it's especially because, like, I gained weight as well. And, you know, like, I had really chubby cheeks, short hair. I was just, I looked it. Now, with the bald hair, it's just like, it's not giving yet. It's not giving yet. And, as I said, I'm slowly but surely starting to gain confidence. But with that being said, I am not always going to have short hair. Not only because I am not fully confident in it yet, but also because I figured since now I'm bold, it is the time to explore with weaves. Because if you know me, then you know that I've never had a moment where I actually wear weaves. Like, it's not been my thing or anything like that. But, um, yeah, we're going to explore a lot of new content in this channel, which include which includes weaves. It includes sometime in the future, near future though, it includes makeup. And just, you know, like, I'm, ju I'm just going to explore that. Because, like, listen, I'm a grown-up now. Even culturally, I'm a grown-up. So, yeah. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. So as a grown-up, I need to know how to do grown-up things, which includes weaves, which includes makeup, which includes all of that. So with that being said, because I currently do not have money to buy weave, I'm so broke, it's not even funny. But yeah, I remembered that I still have this. And this was a gift from my older sister to me in 2019 for my Dance and um i've heard it for some time it's never been washed or anything so i was like i'm gonna start using you but i need to clean you but luckily it's not like it has any glue thing here because you know no one has ever worn it with glue or anything like that but um yeah and it might look like it's curly this is a straight weave believe me when i first wore it i might insert a picture here when I first wore it, it was a straight wig, so it's straight, it's straight. And funny story actually, isn't it? I did say that I had this for my metric dance. I one thing about me, I'm always late, so I did it on the day of my metric dance. It was like around 6 p 3 to 6 p.m. around those times. And then I went to my metric dance, came back at 11, and was like, fuck this shit, take this off me. I am not having it, and I gotta say this because like yeah, and I got a scissors and I cut it off and I was like, I'm good. And then after that, a friend of mine took it and went to go get it like this. So, yeah, here it is. So, what we will be doing, as you might have seen from the title and thumbnail of the video, we're going to be revamping this week. We're going to be bringing it back to life. And mind you, I did say that I, this hasn't been my thing. Like, I haven't, like, I'm not a weave person. I'm not a makeup Or at least I wasn't. Now I'm trying to, even if I don't wear it every day, but, you know, have those times. I do not know how to do these things, you know, these revamping things. But I believe I have done my homework. I watched a lot of videos. I took some notes. Although I currently do not know what those notes are. But I think I remember. I, I know what I want to do, basically. Is it gonna work? We're gonna see, but um, I know what I want to do without talking too much. Let's get to the video because I'm talking too much. Okay, let's do this. So I bought this brush, this new brush from Checkers. I had to make sure I buy a detangling brush. It's very soft because I watched the videos and they were very specific on the good to the brush should be soft. And I started detangling my weave while it's wet and I haven't put any water in it and stuff like that. Of course, I started from the bottom going up because, you know, they were very specific on starting from the bottom going up so that, you know, you don't damage your hair or anything like that. 
so I make sure to listen and um, as you can see there's not a lot of hair being you know like on the brush after I was done brushing it because this brush is very soft and I don't think the the hair was that detang was that tangled but yeah and now I got water this is literally like boiling water you guys I think you will see the steam after you know I put it there but I made sure to boil water and put boiling water and then I use the I use the Pente Repair and Protect shampoo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right, but yeah, that is what it is. Pente. If I'm not, um, I'm sorry. But yeah, I was going to use the Tresemme, but I didn't have money for Tresemme because child, Tresemme is expensive. And obviously because I couldn't touch the water with like my hands because that's boiling hot water and I'm not trying to get burned. I had to use the back of the brush to, you know, make sure I mix the shampoo with the water and you know it mixes nicely before i put my water there now different people do those things differently I mean i watched different videos and tried to do what's best for me or what i thought would work for me so yeah i put that weave in the boiling hot water and i make sure to put everything in and make sure that you know i cover the whole hair with water you guys will see right now but obviously as you can see i even took the brush and made sure what you know everything's in the sink basically yeah okay i'm back and it's actually not even like too long ago i'm still putting the weave in the water and look at how dirty this water already is to think that i was wearing this weave honestly oh my god i might not embarrassed but um yeah and that is one thing I loved about, like, that is why I used boiling hot water, because I knew it will take the dirt right out. Can you see how dirty this water is? But, yeah, after I was done making sure that everything is in, I left it for, like, I think 15 minutes, if I am not mistaken. 15 to 30 minutes, somewhere around there. Might have happened over to the, the time I went off and I dismissed, I'm not sure. But obviously, because you can see, Guti, I can touch the hair with my hands. Now that I came back, it is obviously not that hot anymore. But yeah, I left it for some time. Can you see how dirty that water is? Like, child, I'm not embarrassed. So I, I'm sorry about that. I had to stop for a second, but um, yeah. So as you can see, I made sure that I dry my hair. Don't mind me, don't mind this. But I made sure that I dry my hair and remove all the water so that, you know, I will be able to detangle if I'm detangling and all that stuff. But yeah, this is me just drying out my hair and making sure that, you know, I remove all that dirty, dirty water before I start detangling. Oh, and something I um, think I forgot to mention is when you're drying out the hair, they um, do not, you know, dry it like you're drying a cloth or you're drying, you know, <laughs> excuse me, or you're drying clothes, you know, where you twist it and stuff like that. Don't twist it because this is hair, not clothes or not a fabric. Just like make sure that you dry it out like that. Sometimes if you want it really, really dry, you can get a towel and dry it using a towel. That you will see because at the do but because now I knew that I was still gonna, gonna go back to the water I didn't necessarily get a towel because I was just like you know trying to remove the all the water not really dry 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 the hair but yeah let's skip to the part where I'm done removing the water okay I am back and we have removed all the water from the hair and we removed the dirty water from the sink cleaned the sink and put boiling hot water because child you saw how dirty that water was so obviously i had to do everything all over again so i made sure to boil the water and put it there and then i detangled my hair again started from the bottom going all the way up because you don't want to start from up and then when you go down and then it gets stuck and then you damage the hair so yeah i made sure to start from the bottom make my way up and again i wanted to um detangle after each round because i didn't want to like you know wait until the end and then in tag but yeah as you can see here i put shampoo again and it's the same shampoo and i put the hair in water and let it sit there for like i think it was 30 to 45 minutes again i might be wrong i don't remember the exact time but yeah i put it there for some time and then i came back 
and I tried to, you know, I made sure to clean the water. Again, I have to say, I didn't know my hair was this dirty until I did this process. Because can you see how dirty the water is from here? Because I don't know, like, had it not be from like me wanting to do some waves and, you know, wanting to make sure that I clean this thing. Uh, you know, had it been Bogwiti, excuse me, I use it that once in a while. I wouldn't have cleaned it and I wouldn't have seen how dirty it is. So I think I should make it a regular of cleaning this weave because i'll say my weaves but i only have one so there's no need for plural but i would i think i'm gonna make it a regular for cleaning this weave because child can you see how dirty it is anywho back to the video um as you can see now i made sure to you know clean the frontal and that is it the wig cap like i don't think it's wig cap but that black part is going Yes, I made sure to clean that black part and the frontals with, the, you know, like, bozon, I, I cleaned it because that's fabric and stuff like that. But, yeah, I also cleaned the hair part and, you know, how to make sure that it's clean and then dried out the hair and, I mean, sorry, dried, removed the water from the hair and then opened the water, the dirty water so that it goes out. And then I, of course, had to, because you see of the, the, the amount of shampoo that is in this hair, it's so foamy is that a word if it's not then we're making it a word today but yeah because it has so much foam from the shampoo and stuff like that i had to make sure that i use water to like you know remove all that foam but yeah after all the foam was removed i took my dry very dry um cloth and tried to dry the hair you see what i meant by what you can take the cloth and try using that for drying the hair instead of twisting it like fabric because child it's not so instead of twisting it like a cloth i made sure to dry the the the, the hair with you know my body towel body towels face cloth whatever i use it for my body and then um i made sure to you know dry my hair using that and um i wanted my hair not necessarily i knew it wouldn't be dry 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 but okay i wanted to remove as much water as i could before you know going to the next step and then i detangled again so that from the bottom worked my way out because that is very important you don't want to damage your hair you don't want hair to get stuck on your brush and then more hair breaks out or you have more hair break than necessary because this might not be the hair hair but believe me breakage of hair that is this expensive is just like it's not worth it excuse me Abba. excuse me i'm sorry for that this video is really not that like it's literally just me talking anywho back to the video i left the brush because i felt like you know i firstly needed to detangle using my hands before i went with the brush you know sometimes when some things are so tangled you firstly need to use your hands make sure that you detangle with your hands and then you went to the brush and um we're gonna keep the part of me detangling with my hand and go to the part where i actually use the brush yes i am back and obviously now i am detangling using my brush and um you guys can see the difference already from like now to you know like from the very first time i took it out of that plastic and how it looks already but yeah you can see that now that i have detangled with my hair and then this is like after some time because as you guys can see i'm already on the top of the brush i didn't start from the top but bottom so yeah you guys can see the difference now to the important part I made sure here I did not use cold water, nor did I use hot water. I mixed the two. I would say I used, I'm not sure if I'm going to say lukewarm or, but you know, it's not too hot, but it's also not too cold. So yeah, made sure to add some cold water, made sure to mix the two. And then I used the Pente Smooth and Silk shampoo because i wanted my hair to be smooth and silk and one thing about me i don't know i trust those names so i feel like if it says smooth and silk then it's gonna make my hair smooth and silk and um i wanted that for my hair so i used that shampoo with this water again i'm testing the water because i don't want it to be too hot but i also don't want it to be too cold like i want it to be warm 
but not hot but not cold if that's a temperature i don't exactly know what it's called but yeah <laughs> excuse me sorry for that and then i used the shampoo and for the um, softener for, for the fabric softener that is a fabric softener although it's not in its container it is i'm not sure which one this is because as you guys can see it's not in its original container i think it is you know like that blue one that has a baby and it's the sty soft if i'm not mistaken if i no i won't but yeah i think it's that one because i was gonna say if i get a picture i'm gonna insert it here but ish, i'm not gonna do it so yeah but anywho vela you can use any big softener that you have at home you know you don't necessarily have to use this one this is the one i had at home so th that is the one i used but yeah i left my hair there for some time i think i left it for like way longer because at some point i just got lazy of getting up after the alarm rang so i just like let it sit there for some time and then now i got back and i removing hair from the I am removing water from the hair, sorry about that. And then I left my thing to air dry for some time. But before leaving it to air dry, I got the body towel to, you know, try and dry it with and try and remove all the water with the body towel. You know, when you squeeze the fib. You know what, let me not try and explain because English is not doing me well right now so yeah but i tried to remove that with the water and then i left it sit there I, i'm gonna say this is um two three days later because uh, i just let it sit in that bathroom for some time so yes this is two three days later it has dried out um i couldn't use a hair dryer because at home we don't you have a hair dryer so that is why i left it to dry out for longer because i wanted to not necessarily make sure that it's dry 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 but make sure that it's as air dried as it could be but again um air drying the weave is very important because you know you want it to air dry naturally as you can see here i tried you know making a month of you know putting the thing on my tripod for the brush but it didn't work so i was just like you know what let me just use my hands to do this and i detangled Again, from the bottom going up and you guys can see my hair is slowly but surely getting back. Like, look at the difference from this and the first time I took it out. Like, wow, now that I'm watching back, I'm so impressed with myself. To think, Woody, this was the first time of me doing this. Listen, I can do anything I put my mind to it and that's on period. Anywho, because I didn't have a heat protector, heat protector and heat protector, lock on it somewhere along those words i used the native child don't don't oil i think it's body and hair oil um um so here's the thing i know the oil that probably doesn't do much but it made me feel better knowing would i put something on the hair to like try and prevent the damage than just doing nothing at all so yeah I used that oil, wrapped it with my hand, and then rubbed it on the hair. And then I'd make sure that I brush the hair to be straight before ironing because I don't want to iron on top of, like, you know, when it's. And because I don't have the hair straight now, all the thingy, I used what I had. And what I had was an iron iron. So that is why. Sorry for that. That is why I'm using the iron iron. But, um,. Yeah, I make sure to with after each iron I brush straight and then I iron my hair to be straight and this was a very repetitive thing so I'm just gonna let you guys watch me do it. <laughs> If you have not liked this video and you are thus far, please make sure to 
like comment and subscribe and do all of that but yeah this is how the head looked actually yeah i am not done yet i am you know on the top part but that is how the part that I have ironed so far looked and i'm obviously still gonna you know brush through it to make sure everything's straight and then put it down brush it iron it and everything so now we are just going to move to the part where i am done with this process again if you're this far and you have not liked the video then i'll please like comment what you think do you know all of that share and um comment how you think i did and subscribe if you have not subscribed so yeah let's skip to the part where i'm done with this okay so this is the final hair this is the final product and look at how it looks listen i really i did my job i did i understood the assignment i believe i really did bring it back to life because look at how it is waving right now look at how it goes so i did this just to show you know the weaves and the waves and i don't know if i have like what's this hit damage i guess we're gonna see on my next video not necessarily the next video but um the next time you guys see me with this weave is gonna be me trying it on and you're gonna see how it looks when i have a weave on when it is on me on my head but that is it for now thank you for watching and yeah i'm out